Our next paper is paper ID 816 for you. Uh, either sir, please. So uh, the, our topic is uh, machine learning algorithm recommendation system. If you have, uh, um, if you have used uh, machine learning anytime or deep learning, you must know that uh, it is a very lengthy and a very repetitive process. Uh, that is why uh, in these days, uh, a tool that can help uh, machine learning engineers, data science, or even the new students that are just coming into machine learning uh, uh, the, to help them write efficient ML algorithm and code. Uh, that that is where our uh, library comes in machine learning algorithm recommendation system uh, that uh, short for MLRS uh, is a, a Python library which aims to reduce a repetitive task in the machine learning pipeline uh, we would like to uh, pro promise significant performance gains and high efficiency for data scientists and we would automate uh, things like testing uh, deploying ML models and also hyperparameter optimization uh, so for our uh, literature survey, uh, we have read uh, a lot of uh, papers, but these are uh, some papers that uh, we found that were uh, a lot helpful. Um, the first of which is the uh, state uh, state of art uh, in auto ML. Uh, auto ML uh, is the art, uh, is the thing we are trying to do. Um, uh, there it is uh, written by Zing Yi. And in their opinion, uh, the majority of the tools uh, that are available uh, in today uh, cannot be uh, regarded as user friendly and they are very costly and uh, they are hard to uh, uh, integrate it into your own uh, pipeline. And the other paper that we uh, used is another survey paper uh, that focuses on hyperparameter optimization. Um, th that is also something we uh, we do in our library and uh, uh, it, it focuses on the the theoretical and practical applications of various ml models uh, that uh, that are used and the last paper uh, attempts uh, attempts to uh, make another uh, auto ml library just like ours and uh, they like to improve its uh, effectiveness and robustness uh, based on principles that apply to wide range of ML frameworks. Uh, now my partner Heather will continue. So uh, the, the MLIS library trains the model with different machine learning algorithm with different hyperparameters. And then it calculates its, uh, its accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 of each model and returns the best one. So the library is really easy to use. You can just you or you can just do pip install m l a r s and then you just need to do two inputs. So uh, it, the imports will be the import pandas as pd and import from our library. You need to import the main function. So in the main function, you just need to basically call the main function, give the data frame, and you need to uh, give the name of the name of the column. You need to predict. So this four lines of code you uh, gives you a balanced model which you can use or which is ready to use, and it also shows you which algorithms performs uh, with how much accuracy or uh, recall and F one and everything. So these are the results we got. Uh, the results shows us that driver is given uh, given the model with fairly balanced score when tested with different data sets. The library is tested or uh, tested on data sets are as well. So we have used, we have, uh, we have collected different data sets from Kaggle and any uh, and more resources, and we used our library on it, and we got this result. So as you can see, with four lines of code, we are able to achieve this much, uh, uh, this much accuracy, precision, recall, and the average of all four values. Uh, in conclusion, the MLRS library helps machine learning engineer, data scientists, and even students by uh, reducing the repetitive tasks as discussed by Prashan. The MLRS uh, library lets, uh, lets, them, fo uh, lets uh, them focus more on the problem instead of model, instead of models. So basically, they give us more, uh, they give them more time on basically uh, on work on the attributes and, and uh, attributes and KDD and everything. Uh, the MLIS generates ready to use ML model with few lines of code. And the library is currently freely available on PPI, uh, uh, so anyone can use it.
and these are the offenses and that was for us so what is the, what are the major uh, recommendation systems uh, using uh, machine learning uh, can you repeat that to our question so what are the recommended systems uh, you proposed based on the machine learning algorithm yes so basically it is a library in which you give your data set and it will uh, recommend you the best algorithm for that data set sorry uh it is a it is a library in which you give your data set and it will recommend you best algorithm for that data set so uh, particularly which place we are uh, implementing this uh, recommendation system for example application point of view i am asking so basically if you if you if you want to generate a model really quick and if you want to basically eliminate the each and every try and test error so you can use this uh, you can use this library so basically if you want a uh, if you want a machine learning model really quick you can use this. how to affect in uh, machine learning i am asking and how this machine learning is a uh, effective based on your recommendation system can you explain a uh, models of mla or uh, different models you explain yes so specific any model example of model uh these are the data set and this were the models given basically uh, with the highest accuracy so how to get this all uh, result so you how just to need get... to run this code with your data set and it will give you the decisions okay so now how can you get this all result based on specific any software you using we are using we are behind us you seeing using uh Escalon and uh, Escalon Pandas and Numpy for generation of these all models. So as I so, said in the proposed idea, uh, MLIS trains the model with different machine learning algorithm with different hyperparameters. Calculus. So, so, yes. so this algorithm is already existing algorithm or a new algorithm? Or uh, existing algorithm with different different hyperparameters, and then we try to keep track of the uh, of the algorithms and model with the best hyperparameter, and maybe we done that. So, what is the difference between this algorithm uh, and uh, your algorithm? Previous algorithm and your algorithm? Any differences is there? Uh, no, sir. Actually, the difference is how we use it with different hyperparameters. That is the so, thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, you're not changing any existing algorithm. Just you maintain the same algorithm and implement this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, what are the problems uh, you are? Uh, Identify based on MLA or is so problems right now we identify is sometimes the models is too overfit. Um, mm. that is a that is a major problem because a uh, major problem and sometimes the accuracy and accuracy comes a uh, little too high. So we are trying to solve that problem. Uh, for now. Now what I am asking, uh, okay. are you identifying any new problem that is not a existing problem? You especially. For this research uh, paper, you identify any problem? So the idea, the problem was basically to eliminate the repetitive task of uh, what do you say of trying and testing each and every algorithm uh, which are existing. So we were trying to eliminate that process by. Now why uh, why I am asking? You are using a same algorithm, existing algorithm. Yes, sir. So where is the difference sir? and previous one and your uh, article? Some what a difference is there, na? In result point of view, or any problem you have find out uh, uh, specially? Uh, so the, the basically the the things that exist already are either like way too hard to make it into your own pipeline, or they are just too costly mm. for most people. <coughs> Ours is a open source library. You can just uh, you install it using in Python. And just uh, it 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 is code, so you can just make it into your own pipeline easily. Okay. So whatever the yes. result you uh, maintain here, that results are new result or existing one? A uh, new result from our library, sir. How can you get this all result? Uh, can you repeat that, sir? What? So you told that this all results are new results. Okay. Yes, sir. So how how you get it, this all results? 
Yeah, we just basically uh, use different data sets uh, on our library. Data sets. Uh, how you get data yes. sets? I am asking. From problems, sir. You get all data set from uh, different problems, now. Yes. So that is I am asking. What are the problem you are uh, identifying? Hello. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 Yeah, sir. Actually, the problem is if we have different data sets. which is the best machine learning algorithm which is suitable for the given data set that we are trying to identify with different hyperparameters and for that we have built this library sorry sir who are you so, i'm one of the author of this paper sir okay sir okay sir yeah okay thank you thank you very much yeah. uh, hello yes yes tell me sir ah actually uh, suppose if you are giving any data set your yeah. model will recommend which is the best algorithm for the particular data set am i right you are trying to say yes that? sir yes fine fine okay fine sir okay good thank you thank you very much